So here's my process when I come to a new Scarlatti Sonata. I haven't practiced this one yet. So first time through, I'm just sight reading. Um, I'm gonna just real quickly look at the form. One, two, three pages with a repeat. And then second half is two pages with a repeat. So uh, a lot of times in Scarlatti, there are passages or figures that uh, repeat it helps uh, me learn it a little bit faster. Uh, because the pattern uh, shows up in a lot of different places, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this and see how we do. second time, hopefully I've uh, more or less understood, even if I can't play it perfectly, I've understood kind of what's going on harmonically, and so that's going to help me remember the notes a little bit, so I'll go from there. Nope, try it again. Okay, the other thing that he does a lot, okay, so you notice I have a little opportunity to do some two-note slurs. To do that, I could do it detached. I could do it slurred. Okay. One nice thing about Scarlatti is he uh, doesn't usually uh, tell you, tell you specifically how to do that, so you have some room to kind of do what you want. So. Got a little better. 
there because uh, I remember my finger. Okay, so I'm just doing a scale up. I'm going to a nice kind of 2-3 uh, finger on that trill. It's a lot easier to do than something else. Okay, it's actually even easier in the left hand because it's already a good fingering. Thank you. 
Thank you.